He shows up in Luke chapter 19, and his name is Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus is described as a short in stature Jewish tax collector working for the Romans. So he knows that Jesus is coming. He's heard of Jesus and all these miracles, all these possibilities, and he's taken the day off to see Jesus. And I just imagine what this character must have gone through waiting to see Jesus. Now, most people, they envision this character, I guess the tax collectors at the time were pretty notorious people. But I don't see Zacchaeus that way. I see this tax collector, this little bean counter, and he's, he's waiting here for Jesus. <laughs> My name's Zacchaeus. People don't like me much, but I don't care. I get them back, I just up their taxes, and I pay them back. But you know today, I heard that Jesus is coming to Galilee. Jesus is coming to Jericho. That's where it is, Jericho. And so I'm here to see Jesus. I took off the day. I don't have to work. And oh gosh, I wish I could see better. Oh, all these people, and I'm so short. What am I going to do? Well, there's a sycamore tree. I think I'll climb this sycamore tree. Oh, there he is. I see Jesus. He's from God, you know. Oh, my goodness, he stopped and he's looking at me. Well, what's he thinking? He wants to come to my home. Oh, my goodness, I, I, I can't do that there. Oh, he has 12 people. He can't want 13. I hope he doesn't think I can help. Oh, I can't give him my finances. Oh, I, 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 I can't help him. I, I can't talk. I can't have him to my house. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You fill in the blank. Because I believe that within each of us is this little Zacchaeus. Maybe it was the boy who was at school, who was waiting in line to get picked for the teams and was never picked. Or maybe it was the girl who wasn't part of the popular group because she wore glasses. Or the person who had to wear braces. Maybe it was the person who was too gay. Maybe it was the person that was too smart. The person with that different color. You fill in the blank. But we all do this, and we carry with us these labels that imprison us from realizing the magnificence that we are, from realizing what may be. But we get to choose again. What must that have been like for Zacchaeus? to have these beliefs about himself, for Jesus to see him, to see him, to really be seen. Jesus didn't see this little man. He didn't see a tax collector. He didn't see someone with a different color climbing up in a tree. No, he saw him. And in that moment of being seen, that's where the miracle happened. The transformation happened. He could see himself differently, and the miracle happened. I see myself as whole and free. Say that with me. I see myself as whole and free. There's a community in Africa that has this wonderful way of greeting one another. We here in America, oh, we hardly even look at one another. How are you? You know, I'm not even listening. Hiya. What's up? You know, <laughs> yo. This tribe in Africa, as legend has it, when a brother or sister of the tribe returns from their journey, their hero's journey or physical journey, whatever it is, and they come out from the darkness or from the bush, and they come out into the sight, into the clearing, and their brother or sister sees them there, this is how they greet one another. The person who sees them come out says, 
I see you. I see you. And then the person who has come out has allowed themselves to be seen, and they say, yes, here I am. I see you. Yes, here I am. Do you feel the power in that? What if we, as a community, were able to do that? So we're going to do a little experiment. In a moment, I'm going to ask half of this audience to stand up in a moment. And I'm going to ask this other half to look at these beautiful beings of light, to see these beautiful beings. And we are going to behold them. And together, we are going to say, I see you. And then this beautiful group, each of you, are going to allow yourself to be seen and feel that energy. And you are going to say, yes. Here I am. Then we're going to trade roles. So are you game? Good. Some are, some aren't. This is good. Maybe it's an opportunity to stretch. So let's have this, this half of the room stand, the balcony, to split yourselves, stand. This group, look at these beautiful people. Look at these gorgeous beings of light, these children of God, these brothers and sisters. And they are standing here. And let us behold them by saying, I see you. Together, I see you. And you beautiful people, yes, here I am. Yes, here I am. Beautiful. You can be seated. Now we're going to do this with these beautiful people who've seen us. We are going to see them right back. Let's have this half room stand. See these beautiful people and allow yourself to be seen and to feel this. Together, I see you. And your response, yes, here I am. Together, yes, here I am. Please be seated. Yes, you can applaud yourselves. That's a, that's a stretch. <laughs> really good. Really good. You can feel the power of what might be for us as a community. So we've done three things. We've talked about tools, positive affirmations to break out of our individual prisons. And we've talked about, from Zacchaeus, the power of being a witness for one another. And we've talked about the power the potential of this community to be a witness for one another. Here at Unity Temple on the Plaza, where diversity is praised, and peace and harmony are the rewards. Because you have the power to change your life. I see myself as whole and free. Say that with me. I see myself as whole and free. I see you. I see you, my little Zacchaeuses, and it is time to come down off the tree. And we will take this into our time of meditation. <laughs> 